to my mind, an engineer is a person who solves problems, is a problem solver. And uh, then uh, I believe that uh, women are excellent problem solvers. I did my PhD in astrophysics in Cambridge. I went back in Athens University and I worked as a lecturer in astrophysics, but I was married to an Englishman. And uh, he could not have a job in Greece permanent because he was an astronomer as well. So I came back to England. We had a baby when we were in Athens. And I became postdoctor in Oxford for three years in theoretical physics, but having resigned from a permanent tenure track position in Athens University. So I'm, a, I'm one of those women who followed the husband. And then Mrs. Thatcher came into power and she changed things. She said, we need, don't need so many astronomers. We want engineers to catch up with the new revolution of uh, artificial intelligence, image processing, and so on. So I had to change direction. So I worked for one year in other for Appleton Lab, one year in Reading University in Geography, uh, working on remote sensing and uh, outdoor robotic vision. And then because this university wanted somebody to teach image processing to postgraduate students, they gave me a lectureship to teach because I already had two years experience in a new subject which was not widely known. And that's how I became an engineer and I stayed 17 years here. In the last four years, I'm at Imperial College and from the 1st of October, I will be a quarter of my time at Imperial and the rest as director of a research institute in Greece.